We are sensitive. All of us are sensitive to the world around us. What she's asking is, I'm going to just explain this for a moment. For many of us who are very, very sensitive, it pains us when people around us hurt us or when things happen around us. How to change that hypersensitivity into a quality that can actually benefit us, benefit the world, rather than hurt us, right? Yes. Only by recognizing that what other people are doing, what they are saying, what they are going through, is something that if we are balanced, grounded, anchored, peaceful, joyful, only then can we help them. Because usually our first instinct is we want to help them. But the other very important piece of it is to recognize, as I was saying before, that it's not what other people do, it's how we react. Think about this for a moment. You're in a room with people you don't know. Someone in that room, maybe they've had too much to drink, maybe they've had a bad day, and they say, you're stupid, or they criticize you in some way. You understand, I don't know this person, they've had a bad day, they had too much to drink. It doesn't, it doesn't go inside you. When that's a loved one, a parent, a spouse, a child, a friend, it goes straight inside of us, which means that what we have done is we've allowed other people and the stuff they're going through to define us. One of the things we always talk about in here is that if somebody hurts us, if somebody's acting in a mean way, in an aggressive way, in a selfish way, it's because they are in pain. And instead of allowing ourselves to be pained by that, if we can allow ourselves to feel compassion for what they're going through, to understand that if they were in peace, if they were happy, that's what they would exude. And if what they're exuding is pain and misery and they're sharing anger and they're sharing competition and jealousy, that's what they're feeling. So that compassion serves as an inoculation to ourself and it actually becomes what helps them. The other, the other last piece about that is we're not just receivers, we're also generators. And when you talk about hypersensitivity, what you're talking about is a one-way street. How I am is determined by the world around me. Stressful situation, I get stressed. Peaceful situation, I'm peaceful. Somebody's miserable, I get miserable. It's a one-way street. But you're not a one-way street. You're a two-way street. We are generators of energy, just as we are receivers of energy. And a beautiful way to turn that into a positive quality is instead of focusing on what's coming in, focus on what you can give out. Because not only are you the first recipient of that, I mean, if I'm generating love, who benefits first? Me. If I'm angry, who suffers first? Me. So if I can generate love, 
and peace from within me. The source is within us. That's when we talk about Purnamada. You've got that, that fullness and wholeness and completeness and divinity and infinite power within you. Generate love. Generate peace. Generate compassion. It'll benefit you. And then, as a beautiful byproduct, it'll benefit the world. When you feel yourself being hypersensitive, say to yourself, how did I become a one-way street? And shift your focus from the incoming energy to the outgoing energy. Shift your focus to the generator of energy within. And allow that to heal you and then to heal others. <laughs>